can speak to our former Moscow correspondent, Nick Holdsworth, uh, to find out more. Hello to you, uh, Nick. Um, many people turning out, uh, but knowing that they might be risking arrest, were you surprised about how many people were there? A little surprised that so many tur turned up. The, the footage, the live footage that I've been watching in the last hour shows more than hundreds. There are thousands of people there. There, there are queues of people running down the street away from the church and crowds of people outside the church. Early on, some of those people were shouting, we won't forgive, we don't forgive. Ni prashayam. Later on, they were shouting Navalny's name as the, as the coffin was carried out of the church. The authorities have quite a large presence there. There's a large police presence in the cemetery as well. But so far, they've been playing it low key. There are police standing around, but not phalanxes of them everywhere. There are uh, barriers to stop people uh, drifting into the street and getting run over. But apart from that, it seems to be a fairly low-key attitude the Kremlin is taking, although that may change later as people uh, walk from the church a couple of kilometres across the river Moscow to the uh, Borisoy Cemetery on the other side of the river. Uh, Nick, you covered Alexei Navalny for years, a high-profile, well-liked opposition figure. With his death now, what state is the Russian opposition in? Well, in, in a set of shock to begin with. It's only been two weeks since uh, Navalny's death in that prison colony in Siberia. We still don't exactly know why he died, how he died. Uh, the authorities kept his body from his mother for nearly a week. They tried to persuade the family to have a secret or a private uh, burial there in Siberia in the prison colony. They resisted this funeral in Moscow. It, it took the t Navalny's team a long time to find a church willing to take the service and even finding <clears throat> a funeral directory uh, director's service was hard. Finding, finding a hearse was hard. So the fact that uh, this has happened has left him some shock, but I suspect that there will be a coalescing around Navalny's wife, who said she will continue his work. And people in the crowd today have been saying that they do think that uh, Navalny's work should be continued and that uh, Navalny may be dead, but his ideas aren't dead. All right, Nick, thank you very much. Nick Holdsworth uh, reporting.